Hey, Carl, yeah, we're coming to you from an aligned data center in Ashburn, Virginia, which increased its credit facility last year to more than a billion dollars due to high demand. And they want to do, of course, more expansion. Now, Northern Virginia is the largest data center market in the world and is in the most midst of a massive construction boom, accounting for more than 60 percent of the current pipeline. The U.S. in this area is now data center central as the different companies build in their clusters in order to share information closely data centers were the highest performing REIT sector last year ending up 21 percent major names include Coresight Realty, Cyrus One, Digital Realty, Equinix and QTS Realty Trust. Now demand for data centers fell back 11 percent last year due to about to the second best year on record as companies froze their IT budgets due to COVID and that's according to CBRE. But data usage grew also due to COVID and everything that went online and, and also self-driving cars as the economic economy now opens up this year this could be very big we know there's already 500 megawatts of new build coming online now almost 70 percent of which is pre-leased um, and so we do believe that 2021 might be the record year and then we'll accelerate thereafter not only in markets that are heavily concentrated like northern virginia but also spreading into some of these smaller markets for resiliency cheaper power green and edge now, there is one risk to the sector, of course, rising interest rates, because these growth companies are so dependent upon the cost of capital. And that's why you've seen some volatility in all the tech stocks, including these data centers. Back to you guys. Diana, um, you know, great perspective there. I wonder if there's another risk, which is the cost of power. You know, you're there in Virginia. Power in Virginia is very affordable, relatively speaking. I believe it's one of the cheapest states. There's a lot of natural gas there, and I believe nuclear. Is that part of why data centers are locating there as well? Absolutely, and it's actually why they're clustering together. When you get off the interstate here, you can see more than a dozen data centers, and the reason they all cluster together is because of that energy usage. What you're looking at here, of course, is the cooling system. That also brings the energy costs down. So it's definitely a reason why they're here in Northern Virginia and also spreading to further out markets, out west, outside of major cities, because they're looking for that lower cost energy that they need, and they also want very much to go a bit greener. So that's all part Part of it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.